What's up everyone, how's it going? So there's been quite a lot of news over the past few days for Star Wars Battlefront 2 regarding the next update and some of these things include a bunch of hero changes and buffs and nerfs as well and then some more information on BB-8 as well as a Joydica buff. So I'm going to be going over all of it in this video as well as just kind of giving my all around thoughts on it. So let's get started with the Joydica buff. So a few days ago they did announce that they were buffing it and then recently today Ben Walk did say what they are buffing exactly and he said that they are going to make their shield a bit stronger as well as give them some damage reduction while they are in their wheel form. And while I think that these two things are good additions and necessary for the Joydica, I still feel like they are just a bit underpowered considering the fact that they are a Joydica and as we see in the movies, the Jedi basically run away from them because of how powerful they are. I know this is a game that it's supposed to be a little bit more balanced, but I still feel like their damage reduction on range is still really weak and it needs to be increased because you shoot someone that's like say 20 or 30 feet away and it does basically no damage and it takes forever to kill someone while up close they're really good. As soon as you start shooting at someone that's a little bit far away, the damage reduction on it is just so much and I honestly think it needs to be changed. But I am glad to see they are buffing at least a little bit so hopefully they will decide to keep doing that as time goes on. But I have seen a lot of people in the comments agree with me on this as well, so hopefully they do listen to them. And I would be completely fine with them buffing them a lot, as well as increasing their battle point amount, because I just think that would make the most sense. And next up, Ben Walk did give some extra information regarding the future heroes, those being of course BB-8 and BB-9E. So he said that BB-8 is going to have 650 health, while BB-9E will have 600 health. And he also added in the comments saying, as always, things may change as we finish last minute checks and tweaks. So of course, these numbers are not final, but I would be really surprised to see them change that around at least a little bit, because I think the 600 to 650 mark is pretty average for a blaster hero. Of course, we don't really know what kind of weapon the droid units will have, but they do kind of fit in with the Blaster Hero category, at least for now. And I'm going to assume that the reason why BB-9E has lower health than BB-8 is more than likely because he probably has a health buff ability. I think it would just make sense considering the fact they said these are support heroes, but none of that is confirmed. That's just my main reason on why I think he's got a little bit less health than BB-8. And then next up, we have kind of a smaller news update for this, but it is one that I have been wanting for a while now. It's just a small quality of life change, and Ben Walker Forge actually made a comment saying, I'm trying to figure out how to let you know about some changes we made to the voiceover announcers. And then he commented on this Reddit post actually responding saying, they will now mention the era appropriate heroes that spawn. So I'm really glad for this news, especially considering the fact that currently all the announcers say is there's an enemy on the battlefront or who's that, we don't know who that is. Even though it's like Kylo Ren and it's a resistance announcer talking about it, it just didn't make sense or work for me. So finally, now let's say you were playing in the original trilogy and then you spawn in as Luke Skywalker. Well, the announcers on the hero side will say Luke Skywalker has joined the Battlefront, which is a lot like the classic Battlefront 2, and so it is something that people have been begging for for a long time now, and like I said, it's just a small little quality of life change, but it makes a whole world of difference, so I'm really glad to see that they have included it. And then next up in the news, we're going to go back to the Joydicas real quick. It did get announced that the Joydica units are added as AI players on co-op and instant action. So that's good news and a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. But then on to topic regarding skins for this update, this is some unfortunate news. So Multi-Rocket Gaming asked Ben Walk over on Twitter if there will be any new skins coming with this update. And he responded saying not in this one, which is like I said unfortunate, but at the same time we are getting such a big update with two new heroes, multiple maps for Capital Supremacy were the sequel trilogy era. So I think the update is a big one as it is, so not having skins isn't really a letdown, but still it would have been kind of nice to see. And now on to some of the really big news for this video. Guillaume, who is the lead hero designer for Battlefront 2, did talk a while back on some hero buffs as well as some hero nerfs that will be coming in the next update for Battlefront 2. So let's get on to the nerf. So he said that Anakin and Palpatine will see some nerfs in the January patch. He said Anakin's will be around his star cards and damage to troopers mostly, while Palpatine will have his chain lightning ranged nerf, and then Palpameme's dark aura ability will no longer slow down enemies. 
And then he also added that after January, he will be focused on more balance and fixes for the heroes. But when it comes to that dark aura of a nerf for Palpatine, it's very controversial. I've seen people say this is needed, and then a lot of people saying that it's not necessary at all, and basically makes the ability useless. So, I don't know, I guess it's one of those things that we'll have to wait and see on it to see how it plays out. Because Palpatine, as of right now, is still one of the strongest villains in the game. So, I think a nerf isn't too bad, and will still allow him to be very powerful as well. And then as for Anakin, he's basically unstoppable if you know how to use him. And then this, I believe, will be his sixth nerf. So it's pretty crazy to see that he is still the number one hero in Battlefront 2 after all this time. But I think the nerfs are okay and are reasonable considering the fact that he can one-shot basically every single inventory except for the heavy with some of these star cards. So they're just going to be giving him some damage reduction, which I still think is fine and will still allow him to be a very good hero. And then on to one of the hero changes that I'm really excited about. And this is something that people have been talking about and requesting for for a while now. So Guillaume actually posted on Twitter saying, oh yeah, forgot to talk about Vader's choke ability. He said his animators have been very busy little bees. And then Ben Watt confirmed over on Discord saying Darth Vader will now be able to attack and block while choking which is one of the most highly requested things for hero changes that I have seen because right now his choke ability is just basically useless in my opinion because once you're in that animation there's basically no damage reduction on it you can get killed very easily and you're very vulnerable and you're just stuck in that animation and so thankfully they are going back to the way it was in Battlefront 2015 where you can force choke and then it's just one click of a button I would assume and you can still walk around and attack people just like he did in Rogue One it can make for some awesome gameplay and it's just a great feature all around and will make Darth Vader a very much more powerful hero. So I am really glad to see this addition come. And then next up, let's talk about some pretty big Leia changes, which shocked me. And he did confirm once again over on Twitter that the plan for Leia is they're going to buff one ability, modify one ability, and then completely change another ability. He said that it's not set yet, but that's the current goal. So I'm not sure if this is going to be coming with this January update or a future update down the road because he just said it's not set yet. And he did make this post January 23rd. So I would assume that it's going to be coming in a later update rather than the one coming this week on Thursday. But if I had to make a guess on what the changed ability would be, I would definitely think it's going to give her a thermal detonator instead of the stupid stun flash grenade that she has currently. Because that thing is pretty much useless in my opinion and Leia is already one of the rather weaker heroes in the game. So I am glad that they are deciding to listen to the community on this and they will be giving her a few buffs. And as I'm recording this, I actually just saw a comment that I missed and it's actually the hero designer responding to the famous Azjatru who asked if there's any update on Leia being tweaked and he did say yes, needed a bit of a code support for her update. He said he will be aiming at February for this to arrive but it could also be March. He said the general will get her deserved update and then Phasma's staff is also being worked on. He said he also wants to fix all the hero scopes as soon as we have a window for it. So there are some really good changes coming in the future of Battlefront 2. And that is pretty much going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure and leave a like on the video if you did because it really helps out the channel a lot. The support over the past few weeks has been absolutely amazing. So I thank you guys so much for that. But go ahead and comment down below what you guys think about all these changes. Do you like the Anakin and Palpatine nerfs or would you rather them do it a different way? And just go ahead and let me know down below all your thoughts on this. But yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you're new, subscribe for more Star Wars news, gameplay, and more. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one.